three match, then you got Gilbert Ramirez, and you got Triple G. You got Canelo if he's got the balls at that time. There are so many fighters going to be lining up to take on Andre Ward after the rematch with Sir Adonis Stevenson. If he's still around and still has a title, Ward will get him too. It's changed. It's changed. Last night is what we needed. Last night, HBO got their new face. Terrence Crawford is going to have his moment to shine. But I don't know if Terrence Crawford versus John Molina is going to do for the network what Andre Ward just did last night. With Andre Ward's style, with his, with his record, his past, this guy is a blessing to this network and to us uh, that, that cover this sport. They're saying we're losing stars. Here he is. Here's number one. We have Canelo. We have Triple G. Now you're going to put Andre Ward's name up there. HBO will build it back. They're going to build their, their stable back. But, yeah, no, it, look it. It's what we wanted. It's everything that I wanted to see Ward did. He did last night. Seriously. The only thing I thought Ward could have done better of, Lee, was freaking moving around in the first few rounds. Damn, he stood there and traded with Kovalev, and he ended up on the canvas, but he still did it. He didn't. Oh, and what bullshit. Harold Letterman had going off talking about Andre Ward's running was a disgrace. All he's doing is running. This is a this is a network that praised the likes of Pernell Whitaker and Floyd Mayweather for years. And now you're going to tell me Andre Ward. That's when I started thinking that guy, I don't know what he did. He must have put all of his eggs in the Kovalev basket or he put his wallet too. And he did something, but that was wrong when he started talking like that about what was Andre supposed to do? At that time, Kovalev was running the fight. He was dictating the pace. He was the one putting the hands on Andre like we ain't never seen Andre get hit before. Those first two rounds are scary. But go watch round three when Andre Ward comes out, lands a combo, and then immediately grabs Kovalev and throws him into the ring. He showed him in round three. It ain't over yet. It was Rocky-ish. I'm telling you. I don't agree. I just don't. I watched it. I watched it without the sound, and I watched the English broadcast, and I watched the very pro uh, Andre Ward broadcast on HBO. And it was very pro HBO. And for the most part, it lived up to the hype. I never understood why Andre Ward didn't let his hands go during the middle rounds, he which can't. he didn't. He can't. Lee, you, Second, you... <laughs> secondly, secondly, okay, Mr. Bay Area. Oh, oh yeah, look at this. Here we go. Bias, bias. <laughs> no way, no way, man. That hey, that dude. If Kovalev that dude was supposed to be the won, crusher, if Kovalev won by one point on a decision, I would. Do you think that there would be an outrage like there is today? No. No, no, no. But, Lee, let me tell you, when you got no, but, most... But how is there a but? Because that's not how boxing is. Boxing, when the fan favorite loses a controversial or a close, I'll say a close decision, this is always the outcry. This is always, oh, no, the judges got it wrong. I had it right. My guy should have won. You get that every time. Some of those are betters, too. He was the underdog. It was a close fight. Of course they're going to be booing ringside when they drop the thousand on the underdog. Yeah. Yeah, especially especially when when Andre Ward looks as surprised as everybody ringside when the decision came down. One, I hate it. Listen, I hate it when that at happens. 114 to 113, I was thinking Marquez Pacquiao. I'm not going to lie. Oh, it was the one knockdown that put this fight over the top for Kovalev. Why not? That fight was that close. It, I, that's what I thought it was. And I'm sure on Andre back in his mind, fuck, one point, they're going to give it the knockdown. It's going to be the knockdown. No, it's not. You won. Of course you're surprised. Awesome, awesome fight. Listen, most controversial decisions, whenever you tell the fan, the fan of the guy that got, that got the winning side of the close call, let's watch that fight together. Most of the time, they'll tell you no, because they know damn well their guy was on the better side of the controversial call. 
in this situation, I'll, I'll sit down and watch this fight with any Kovalev fan that did tells me he won this fight because he clearly didn't. He won it for many reasons. He won it because he tried to outbox a great boxer. He, he lost it because he allowed a crowd to dictate what was going on in the ring. When you're only landing one punch at a time and the crowd is cheering for the other guy when you're missing or landing, you're losing. You are going to lose that round. They were cheering SOG, SOG. They were cheering Ward. They were cheering off of jabs. Jet, one jab, beat. The whole crowd went crazy. <laughs> you don't think these refs are getting getting persuaded by this? That was his fault. He had the style to beat the one-armed littler fighter. You had the style. Watch the first two rounds. Why did he do what he did? I believe too much success too early got the best of Sergey last night. I think he went into total knockout mode. Started believing his pow punching power was going to hurt him and fell behind on points. Then the body work. The body work in round five, I believe, is when it starts. And it doesn't stop until the final bell. There was some rounds where this kid is landing four power shots. One, two, three, four. And Kovalev does nothing in return. Throws a jab and misses a right hand or misses a left hook. He rarely caught Andre Ward after round two with two punches. Watch the tape. Great job. We're American boxers. You don't box with them. You are a Russian powerhouse. You knock people out. 80% knockout ratio doesn't throw more jabs than power shots. I don't agree. It doesn't matter. Larry Merchant doesn't agree with you. <laughs> it doesn't matter right now. This is what matters. They're rematching in six months. There will not be a warm-up fight. There will. This fight is so hot right now. They're rematching immediately in the early part of next year. As they should. Yes. Yes, they should because Andre is that guy. He is that fight. Don't you guys understand? Last night, he did it again. They're going to put all of the money behind him now. He went up another weight and fought this guy they called the Crusher. Third 26 knockouts out of 30 wins. What? Yeah, he felt his power once. I didn't see Sergey land two clean power punches the next 10 freaking rounds. I don't agree. It was an awesome fight. It's an awesome fight. It, that fight, if it would have went 114-113, Lee, I, I do believe that the, the fans wouldn't be arguing, some of them, because there's a lot of people that aren't really mad about the decision either, especially when Andre does sweep the last six rounds. Poss and if you want to only give him five, give him five. But the, the thing is, is he brought it on hard. And that, and that ninth round... Sergey didn't have a moment like that the whole fight. He didn't he didn't once dominate the mind of Andre Ward. He might have hurt him physically, but he didn't break him. And that ninth round, when Sergey goes through the ropes on that right hand, he just looks out of it. He looks like he's tired of being slapped. Jab, hook, right hand, body shot, three body shots, jab left hook, out class last night no your one punch did not work your one combo didn't even land that that jab right hand was irrelevant from Kovalev last night he tried Lee I, I want to say it's the fifth round Kovalev has one moment where he misses seven in a row seven yeah no I don't agree. Bring it back. Robbery. Bring it back. But the right one won. In, the, in fight number one, the right guy won. And I don't mind. Bring it back because he's going to get him even worse next time. I do expect a different Kovalev.
but I don't think he has it. He doesn't have the skill to beat Andre Ward. Power is not going to just do it. Power should have did it last night, you guys. Power, his best chance of beating Andre was last night. Now Ward knows you. Now Virgil Hunter knows you. Now they know you mentally, too. Nope. It's easier in rounds two. In the second part, it's always easier. This was the night Andre uh, Sergey should have beat Andre Ward. He was limited. Lee, am I am I... Am I out of my mind when I say Andre Ward babies the shit out of his right hand? Um, you're not out of your mind. That's because he doesn't throw his right hand. He doesn't. Yeah, it is. It's freaking weird. And, and and another reason why he didn't win this fight. He was throwing a lead left hook. I thought Sergey was gonna drop him like four times when he was coming off of the canvas with that lead left hook. What is did, that? Did, and Andre didn't win the fight. Oh, stop it! What? I don't. Hey. It don't matter to me if you believe, if anyone, what they say anymore. The win's already in the bag. He's still undefeated. Bring it back. You know what? You know what? Bring it Stephen back. A, Stephen A. Smith doesn't think that Ward won the fight. I am all right with that. The judges had him winning by one. It wasn't a, a big... Uh, Jay-Z got to the judges. I didn't even... Did they even show Jay-Z? You know what? I don't even know if he was there. Hey, listen. Jay-Z... Not only did I don't even think he showed up, HBO didn't put him on one time if he was there. Who the hell sang the national anthem? You can't get one of your star performers to show up in Las Vegas to do a show or, for that. Or his wife. Or his wife. I, I, you know, I would say that. I don't know if this fight met that caliber, but I, doesn't he own Rihanna? I mean, like, he could have went somewhere else to get a, 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 a star for this fight, for his first pay-per-view uh, look at jay-z's brought nothing new to the sport he's brought nothing new he's a, he's the same uh, promoter like the rest of these guys that are trying to make a dime off of these fighters um they, they last night the pay-per-view was not exciting people i'm not even going to talk about the undercard because their the undercard was irrelevant look at del rosa versus stevenson good little scrap nobody gave a shit though Nobody cared about that fight. That fight does nothing for both of those guys. And let's get some one other shot at a title that they won't win. Um, they look good against each other. They won't look good against an A-style fighter. So over that, um, Maurice Hooker, come on, gift decision. You're talking gift decision. That Darlies, Darles Perez whooped the shit out of Maurice Hooker. I couldn't believe all the shots that that Hooker kid missed, and he's undefeated. He didn't look if he didn't even seem like he could throw a good punch and he's undefeated. He's <laughs> he's coming. Okay, so here's the, here's the million dollar question. How did a pro Andre Ward crowd and it was, it was 100% yes. why would they boo the decision? Oh, uh, I think that was betters too though. You got gamblers out there Lee that 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 What? No, they thought they were winning that fight. If you take a percentage of the 13,000 and tell me that they that they are gamblers. They're not really fans. They're there to see if they won the money. They are booing at the end of that 12th round. Bullshit. You're going to have whatever Kovalev fans that were there that had money on him. They are going to boo at that 12th round. The, the decision, when it was announced initially, they do not boo Andre Ward. When that 12th bell rang, they did not boo Andre as he jumped the first one. To jump on the, the ring. Uh... So you are saying decisively, in your mind, no question, Andre Ward won seven rounds. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, it, it was a. You are it... legitimately in the minority of all boxing people. Because ever. I was in the minority of picking the winner. That's what you don't understand. When, when 90% of the media. Have one guy winning the fight and he loses. They all picked Andre Ward. They all picked Andre Ward. You're wrong. Lee, you're wrong. You. The are... majority of all the picks online, all of social media, were all about Andre Ward. No, it wasn't. No, it yes, it wasn't. was. I can pull up the ESPN story right now with all of their boxing analysts and 90% of their analysts from here to England to Mexico all picked Andre Ward by uh, unanimous or split decision, which is exactly the way this turned out. It is the way it every turned out. Every single one of the every single one of those writers, almost to a fault, 
is saying that this is a robbery. You legitimately no, are in that the is minority. 